हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज संदीप हियर एंड आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ वीडियो सीरीज ऑन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट को पायलट हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट को पायलट फॉर योर बिजनेस एंड द गुड पार्ट इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट को पायलट स्टूडियो गिव्स यू दैट लिबर्टी वेयर यू कैन कनेक्ट ऑल योर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट अप्लीकेशन इवन यू कैन कनेक्ट विथ थर्ड पार्टी अप्लीकेशन एंड क्रिएट योर ओन को पायलट एंड दैट इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन ऑपरेट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट को पायलट स्टूडियो हाउ यू कैन कनेक्ट विथ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट अप्लीकेशन एज वेल एज हाउ यू कैन कनेक्ट विथ थर्ड पार्टी अप्लीकेशन एंड यू विल लर्न ऑल दीज लेसन्स इन कमिंग वीडियोज सो कीप वॉचिंग मी कीप कनेक्टेड हियर सो यू विल गेट ऑल दोज नॉलेज हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट को पायलट एंड इम्प्रूव योर customer service improve your business operations using copilot so friends right now i am on the home page of microsoft copilot studio and hope my screen is clear and visible to access copilot studio you have to go on copilotstudio.microsoft.com this is the page and if you are not already re registered for it once you will go there it will ask for the 14 days trial that is what you can utilize to play with microsoft copilot studio so don't buy it on the uh, when you are going to just create some kind of uh, test applications if you think that this is use useful for your business then only you have to buy it otherwise just utilize the 14 days trial and that is what i am utilizing so my friend you can see here we have home button once you will click on home button you can see everything related to the copilot for example all the copilots you created and then the uh, some templates you can see here after that you can see learnings if you want to learn about the copilot you can see here as well and then you can see create button if you want to create a new copilot you will click on create button it will uh, give you the pop up for example like the screen like this from where you can create a new copilot and then all the copilots the list of copilots you created in your organization that is what you can see here and then we have libraries like it will give you options all those libraries available which you can utilize in your microsoft copilot as well here you can see all the third party applications as well as microsoft applications even though if you think that the sandeep here i don't see my application i am using this particular application and i can't see here my friend you can create a connector you can see all these applications whatever you can see here whether it is related to the github or it is related to the fresh dex you can see a connector so even though your application is not listed here you can create a connector and after that you can connect your application your third party application in microsoft copilot and then my friend we will go back to the copilot here you can see all the copilots you already created let's open one so we we will see all the elements in this particular copilot for example the first tab you can see that is overview and here you will get the complete overview related to your copilot which you already opened so you can see the name of this particular copilot if you want to change the name you can click on edit button and you can change you can add description and also some other instruction as well and then you can see knowledge base what is knowledge knowledge base my friend copilot is totally based on like your boat so you need to give your boat more and more knowledge for example if you want to provide support for your inventory you need to connect your inventory and that is what you can add as a knowledge if you want to someone is checking for some particular a uh, document or some particular information which you have in a particular document you need to add that document as well and then my friend you can see topics here we'll discuss in detail what, what are the topics and how you can organize a particular topic and then actions for example if you want to uh, take some actions on a particular instruction then you can create actions from here as well and after that you can see publish it means that here you will have the publish option and you can see the status of your copilot when you last time published it after that we have knowledge base as a tab and as i told you that to make your 
co-pilot more and more capable you need to add more and more knowledge so how you can add it my friend once you click on add you can see here we have public website it means that you can add your public website as a knowledge base then we have file if if you have some uh, some documents where you have all your business informations and that is what you want to add as a knowledge base you can upload from here as well if you have your documents in SharePoint or OneDrive, you can also connect that like most of the businesses which are using SharePoint and OneDrive for their uh, intranet, they can easily connect with the SharePoint. And then we have Dataverse. You know that Dataverse, you can connect any kind of database, even it is third party or SQL or Microsoft applications using Dataverse. So you can connect Dataverse as well as a knowledge base and then the third party obligations you can also connect you can connect with csb you can connect with sap you can connect with azure sql you can connect with the jira so all these info, uh, connectors are available as i told you that if any connector is not available you can publish your own connector even in power automate and connect here so that is what we'll see once i will go through the the complete lessons i will I will explain how you can connect with the Power Automate as well. Then my friend, we have topics and this is very important point. Uh, you need to understand what is topic. My friend, when you are communicating, for example, you are, a, you are in a customer support of your business and you are selling XYZ product. So one person is coming and asking for booking. Like I want to book this particular product. One person is coming, want to check the status of their booked product. And one person is coming and they, they have some issue with they already purchased a product with that particular product. So you can see all three persons, they have different, different context. So all these different, different context are different, different topics. And that is what you can create as a flow to give support for that particular kind of uh, context or that particular kind of flow or that particular kind of concern or person. So for example, you can create a topic for booking, you can create a topic for you know, order status, you can create a topic for concern as well. So this is what you can do in a co-pilot using topics. For example, you can see here I have a topic book flight. If someone is coming and wants to book flight they will uh, they will use this particular flow and this is totally automatic you will create the flow co-pilot will pick that particular flow when they will have that kind of questions that kind of context and that is what we will see in this we will see in coming videos how it will uh, how flow will run how you can connect each and everything third party applications and all those things to create your own flow for a particular uh, action for a particular process so my friend then i have a flight customer support and after that like goodbye greetings uh, the start over thank you so these are the topics which already there so mostly you will find these topics like goodbye to thank you by default when whenever you are creating a particular uh, co-pilot then we have actions as i told you that if you want to do any uh, any action action what is action action means you want to perform any task that is an action so for example you will click and it will take you mostly you will get uh, a power automate connector here for example like get a, a row what is that it's a power automate flow it will trigger a power automate flow you will create a flow to get a row from excel so that is what you can do here. You can create a, a action and that is what you can see here. Then the complete overview of your co-pilot. Like what is the billing, how many sessions you had, customer satisfaction, sessions, billing, uh, boost conversation, all those kind of things uh, you can see as a report here. And then my friend, the channels. Channels are very important because once you will create the co-pilot, where you are going to publish for example if your customer are coming on your public website you will publish your co-pilot on your public website if you are giving support using microsoft teams in that case you will publish your co-pilot 
in Microsoft Teams. You want to create a mobile app for if you are a large uh, business and you think that your customers are directly download mobile app and they will uh, they will ask questions from there. You can create a mobile application as well. If your customers are on Facebook, you can create you can publish your co-pilot on Facebook. So you can see all the channels are available here which you can utilize to publish your co-pilot on those targeted channels and that is how you can give support you can also see customer engagement hub so you can also publish there as well so my friend this is the overview of your co-pilot i will just give you a demo and then we will see that how you can create your co-pilot so i will go here and i will show how i created book a flight flow so here you can see if someone is coming for book a flight what will be the trigger trigger means which kind of question they can ask so they might can ask book a flight they can ask flight booking they can ask want to book a flight so whatever you think uh, should be a similar question even though you will ask similar question like this co-pilot will able to understand so you will add all those phrases which you think might can trigger this particular flow so once they will ask this kind of question co-pilot will ask from location and i already given this option you can even connect with the dynamic data so that is where you will they will get the option to select from location then i have the two location i'm uh, the co-pilot will ask from location then co-pilot will ask to location and after that it will ask a particular date when they want to book a flight and after then we have the action i'm creating power automate flow to find a flight so for example if you have application where you have your database related to the flight then that is what you can call using power automate power automate will go check your database check the status and give you the option which flight they can use and then i'm giving the option like the flight detail and asking uh, yes book this flight no i will book another later and based on the condition we are showing that uh, give your details for the booking or we are showing that we are sorry you wouldn't be uh, booking a flight today so this is the flow and i will show once you will book you will see the status like booking status so i will show, show you complete flow of this booking in coming videos so keep connected with me see you in my next video